Rightio, so we're doing happy hour. In the backyard, in front of the old wood pile, we thought it might be a bit of an interesting look. So what have we got? Furfies. Furfies. Finally doing the bloody furfies. I stuff, I turn your bloody fridge off. So these aren't gonna be super hot, super cold. I hope they're not super hot. No, they're not. They're just, oh, they're just, they're not bloody cold. So we have furfies, it's a yes. Geelong, Geelong company. Yep. Oh, Geelong now, bird. There are any kids watching, don't look at the screen now. I was given this by Brody and Brett. They went to Bali. That is a penis. Yes, it is a colourful one. <laughs> a so very colourful one. Yep. That's what we're using. Oh. So fur furfies are a um, Geelong based company Geelong brewery. It's a Geelong based brewery. It's owned by uh, Little Creatures. Oh. And are they Australian or? The, uh, yeah, I think James said that they're the last actual Australian owned Well, that's Coopers. Brewing company. Isn't it Coopers? I thought he said it was Little Creatures. No, Coopers. Unless Little Creatures is more of a craft beer. I don't know. Don't know. Well, there you go, guys. We don't bloody know. No. Someone, someone let us know. Nope. All right, let's pour this in. Tilting of the glass, because I always get too much of a head. I'll bring that in closer oh, yeah, for you. That, uh... oh. oh, yeah, that's Jesus. It's okay, apparently I fucking oh. <laughs> done. Oh. Cheers. It's right up my nose. I actually oh. got beer out of that one. I think that was all just yeah. <laughs> head. Oh. Oh yeah, that's warm. Not the not the optimum bloody temperature, that's for no. sure. No. Oh, yeah. That's all right. That's nice though. That's that's better when it's cold. Yeah, it's bitter, but it's not too bitter. It's got a bit of taste to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably comparable with most drafts and ales. Yeah. I don't uh, mind that actually. That's pretty good. Yeah. Four point four percent. One point three standard drinks. Well, there you go. So the whole idea of uh, furfies. Oh, that's hard to read. I'll read right. it out in your biggest voice. Oh, sorry. There's stuff everywhere on this. Um, fact and furfy. Long before furfy meant tall stories, it meant water tanks made by the furfy family of Shepparton. To pay our respects to the furfy family's services to Victorian refreshment. We named this beer made with 100% Victorian hops and malt after them. Ah, true story. So that's how they did it, right? That's the whole thing. Yep. Everything's Victorian. Yeah, the ingredients. <clears throat> right. So, and I've mentioned this before about furfies, and as Matt just said, the water tank. So, in World War One, Shepparton is what 40 minutes, oh, hour, yeah, probably closer to an hour. An hour. Yeah. yeah. An hour northeast, north, I don't know, whatever. Northeast. <laughs> when you're in the bush, it's just up the road. <laughs> when you're in Australia, it's, it's just up the road. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter it. where it is. No. Um, so they made these big tanks. They had them on um, wagons. And basically it was to hold water. And they used it <clears throat> in the World War One. Um, to obviously supply water to the um, to the soldiers, and we know uh, furphy as in furphy is a I don't know a tall story, something a bit sus, not quite right, you know, a bit of bloody bullshit. Stretching the truth. Yeah, yeah, that's it, stretching yeah. the truth. Um, so what would happen is that obviously back then we didn't have Facebook and internet and all that kind of bullshit. So no. the only way that um, people especially the soldiers over there they didn't have newspapers and all that kind of stuff it was the bloke on the water cart that would go from one camp to another camp and he would hear a story there and then when he get to the next camp he'd then relay that story onto that one and then so forth yep. and so forth so it was actually the cart driver of the, yeah. the furphy tank that was you know t yeah. telling the furfies and that's how that that's it, chinese whispers basically. yeah exactly that's it yeah, yeah. Yep. What are you doing, Missy? 
don't know, she was sitting at my feet. Yeah. Yeah, what? So I give that one a thumbs up. Yeah. That's that's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, that. I don't mind it. I could, yeah. It's I not a bad drop. Happily just sit here like this. The sun is uh, <sighs> dropping down over there. The sun's gone. Well, <laughs> it is gone. I can still see the light, though. Yeah. Yeah. We've got uh, we've got the couple of lights set up here so you can see us. I tell you what, in this tree, dark. I've got to uh, actually I'll grab this camera down here. Moment. It's very green. Yeah. I'll grab my second camera so now you guys can see. So that's the the big plum tree in our backyard. Which you most probably all know about it. Yep. A crazy um, mess of branches. Yeah. So seeing that light sitting there, I reckon this would be great if we put fairy lights up in it. What do you reckon? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I reckon that'd be pretty bloody cool. So yeah, obviously provide some yeah. light. Yeah, no, it'd be much better in the tree. I had them in my shed in the little man cave area straight uh, up across the rafters. Yeah. But it annoyed me during the day because I could see them. Like during the day, you could see the fairy lights hanging. Oh, without them turned on. Without them yeah, turned right, on. Yeah, right, right, right. It just looked like a mess of wires hanging over your head. And I was like, oh, that looks like shit. Yeah. It looked really good at night, though. Nighttime, yeah. But... Yeah, well, that's it. You shouldn't be able but to yeah, see But yeah, you won't. You probably won't see them in the tree. Mm. So yeah, it'd probably look pretty good, actually. Add that to another list. Actually, I got a pretty big bloody oak tree out the back of my place. The oak tree was at the peppercorn tree up the back. Oh, peppercorn. Yeah. Yeah, it's peppercorn. Huge. It is, and there yeah, always plenty of nut beans. Mm. Being a very big tree. Yes, it's good. Plenty of shade in the backyard. Mm. Yep. yep. So have you done any more out at the out at your shed? No. Nothing. No. No. It's sitting there, I've been procrastinating a lot. Yeah. And working a lot, and then obviously coming here and doing the bike. The bike's been taking yeah. up a huge amount of your time. Yes, that has been a. Uh, yeah, a big time hog, mm. and then working and being a bit mental. So, and then I'm going away this weekend. So, so where are you going? I'm going to witchy with ah, racism. Ah, right. Yeah. So. Wow, because that's why I asked whether you wanted to do the posty run. Yeah, but yeah. I've got the races on. So cool. Because John, I was gonna if Matt was gonna come on that posty ride that you got a posty ride coming up through here. If you can hear that banging. That's the dog. I'm bloody Phoebe. Phoebe, buddy, banging on their gate. Um, yeah, I was going to shoot you a quick thing on Facebook and say, is it alright if Matt come along? But, so, for everybody else, on this weekend, I'm meeting a whole heap of guys on posty bikes at um, somewhere. I better not say where. <laughs> Just yeah, in case. Cause yeah, it's probably it's a good idea. Yeah, it's not, my, <laughs> yeah. it's not my event. So I'll be meeting up with John and... Uh, John and his bloody crew. Cool. Oh, no, so what are you doing in Witchy? Gun races. Oh, Witchy races are on? Yeah, got the races. Horse racing oh, all day. Oh, right. Oh, so there are they yeah. the Witchy races, same as the Melbourne Cup? Is it? Well, it's it's not, not next one, weekend's not. Melbourne Cup. Isn't it? Am I confused? I don't know. Maybe I'm telling a furphy. Possibly. <laughs> um, no, it's normally not. It's normally... The Witchy races are normally the first... First? Sad day? In November. So, um, well then that, yeah, and that's this weekend. Yeah, that's this weekend. I don't know when and Tuesday is. is Melbourne Cup, so oh, sorry, it's the same yeah. weekend, but of same, course. Yeah, same week. Melbourne Cup's on Tuesday. You've yes. got to be in my head to understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Witchproof yeah. is an interesting place for a very, very, very small town. It's got the so, small. It's got the smallest mountain in the in, world, the, in the world. Yeah, world's, world's smallest mountain. Yeah, I don't know what defines a mountain though. Like I, I, I don't really. Know. I've looked it up, and it still doesn't make sense. Yeah, to me. one of those things. It's a very grey area. Yeah, I think it's basically whatever somebody <coughs> decides to call it at the time yeah. of naming, and that's what it stays. And I suppose they most probably just called that a mountain just so they could have the right to say that it was a yeah, like, probably great tourist thing. Yeah, it's funny because there's. Because Witcherproof is literally a, literally a one street town. Like there's yeah. nothing down the side streets at all, except for houses. And, and Witchy's got the train line that goes. Got the, the train line it. that runs straight up the middle. Yeah. Divides the two lanes of traffic. Yeah. Um, 
and one side is Mount Witcherproof, which has the mountain on it. Yeah. The other side is Witcherproof, which has the pubs. Oh, really? Yeah. They, they separate it? Yeah. Yep. Wow. So, the, yeah, the centre of the road divides the two. So you've got Mount Witcherproof and Witcherproof. Yeah, so Mount Witcherproof is east, and the other one would be west, I would say. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah because when we're going yeah. up, up that way, Mount's on that side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. Spot on. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Town with a population of like a thousand people. And it's got two pubs. Yeah. <laughs> Does get absolutely hammered for the races. That was very popular. Yeah, so is it a lot, when people come in for that, is it a lot of the, because that's obviously out in the in the farm area. Yeah. So that's all that's just farming out, out in the valley. Yeah. 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 So you reckon it's farmers or, or is it? I don't know. There, there is, over the last, I'd say, I don't know, 10 years, there has been a massive, massive influx of people. I think, like, the racing season in yeah. Australia is getting more popular. Ah, uh, right. You get people from Melbourne and all over the place coming yeah. and going. And Is that more I think of that, Yeah, they like getting dressed up and getting pissed, basically. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's it. I don't think it. they really care about the horse racing. It's just an excuse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. <clears throat> cool bananas. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. That's the uh, the Furfies um, beer, Geelong Victoria. Mm-hmm. I highly recommend it. That's a good buddy. That's a good drinking. That's a good drinking. It beer. is, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. Even warm, still. Yeah, still exactly. Decent. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Yeah, no worries. All right, guys. So, you got a saying? No. To end it. Do no. I have to go with the other one? What was the other one? I don't know. <laughs> we still have another one. To all the beer drinkers out there, <coughs> a long life and a merry one.